Let's get on with the show, folks. My first guest can be seen, of course, every Tuesday as Buffy, the Vampire Slayer. Please welcome the very lovely Sarah Michelle Geller. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that shines light. What does that say? I can't read it. Oh, it's not important anymore. <laughs> oh, okay. He wants to meet you. Uh, big surprise. Uh, you look. You really do look great. I love those pants. Thank what you. are those? Those are. Um, what there, animal? No animals were harmed in the making of these fake pants. I'm just right. putting that out there now. A plastic animal They're was plastic. killed for those. It yeah. was the plastic animal. Well, the Furby you. or a. A Some Furby one of those. was killed for your <laughs> pants. Furbies were killed in my... Uh, not in your pants. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, right, I'm pants. just trying to straighten it out so there's no confusion thank here. Thank you. Thank you. You're, uh, it's, it's great. We're, we were glad that we heard you were in New York City. And you could do our show. Are you having a good time here? Are you... I have been having a good time. I always say it's great to be uh, mistaken for a celebrity in New York. What happened? I, so I, I went to a party the other night, and mm -hmm. I was trying to leave, and it was a little crazy, and I saw someone much more famous than me leaving, and I thought, oh, I'm just going to duck behind them, and no one will see that I'm leaving. And Glad I could help. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. It was kind. That's, and, I'm and, such an idiot. Yeah, okay, sorry. <laughs> So you duck behind someone so, to avoid like the press right, and the mob. Right, people and, that are outside. So I run to this car, and I, I get in, and I look, and it's just not my car. And I'm about to get out, and I realize I, I can't like get out in the middle of the street. He goes, "Oh, it's no problem. I know who you are. I'll take you wherever you want to go." And I'm thinking, "Well, oh, that's so nice, you know? Right. Great. I'll, I'll just drop me off like, a couple blocks from here, and I'll get my car." And uh, this guy's just going on. He was so nice. It's so great to have you in my car. My girlfriend's gonna freak out. I can't even tell you're in my car. This is so huge. I just, I can't. And I'm thinking, "Wow, you know, this guy's a fan." And right. and uh, he said, "Now, wh what's your name again?" And before I could say Sarah, he goes, "Christina Aguilera." <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, yeah, and he's like, your music, your new video, your. I'm going, thank you, thank you, and I'm trying to like keep up with this conversation. Wait, now. so you were just saying you kind of work? I wasn't gonna tell him. He probably kicked me out of the car. Right. You know, what you should have done is said, "That's right, I'm Christina Aguilera," and could I borrow five hundred dollars? <laughs> then he'd follow her around forever. You went to? Are you a, you're a sports fan? You I, did I see you on TV on the, at the Knicks game the other night? I went. To, let's hear from my Knicks. We're gonna win tomorrow. Ugh, Come on, somebody help me out. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I did. You know, These guys would cheer pretty much anything you said at this point. <laughs> you're like, you. If you got by, if you, uh, uh, but, but so I see you at the next game, you're sitting, uh, you got pretty good seats there. I had some incredible seats. I had never sat courtside at Madison Square Garden before. And to be there and see the Knicks, and I got to take my picture with some of the Knicks. Oh. It was the, I think it's like the high, I couldn't breathe. I literally could not breathe down there. I was so starstruck. These guys, I mean, uh, which ones small did you guys, get? To? Very small. They make you look small. But yeah, they do. They make. I'd be like, I'm six four, but in the NBA, I'd be a speedy little guy. You know. I was Alan. Al, uh, it was uh, Patrick Ewing. Looks at me. and Goes, damn, you're short. That's what he said to me. Well, in fairness, he says that to everybody, probably. <laughs> I think he's over seven he's feet seven tall. One. Yeah, he's yeah. Seven one. Yeah, he just walks around saying that all the time. Are you trying to belittle my meeting with Ewing? Is yeah, that what you're yeah. trying to do here? I'm going to belittle Patrick Ewing. Good idea. Yeah. No, I wouldn't do that. What, was it cool? Did you have a good time? Did you enjoy I, the game? I, I just, I had the best time, and we won. I got, I got a sweaty towel. Ugh. <laughs> well, that's a good thing. Why is, why do you, you, why is that a... Why is that a good thing to get a it's sweaty towel? Used by the Knicks. Well, that's, I don't care. It's, that's disgusting. <laughs> I got one of the socks. Okay. Mm. Mm. Remind, me, remind me to cancel that gift I brought you from the game. <laughs> you brought me one. Oh, okay. I, I was I better... going to, but it's fine if you don't want it. We had no, no. I want the sweaty towel. Uh, no, it's fine. You don't have to fake it. Okay, good. I don't want it. Uh, we had a friend of yours here uh, the other day. You did. I yep. saw the show. We had David Boreanaz on the show, who of course plays Angel and. And and I was, I was concerned about sitting in this chair. I thought there was like itching powder in the chair. Why is that? Did you see him? Did... Yes, we did kind of <laughs> notice this. Okay, I'm going to say this really politely, but since there's no demure way to, he just kept picking his butt on the show. The, the whole, I, I, and I'm sitting in my hotel room. I'm total jet lag. I just flown in, and I right. like, I get home like perfect timing. I watch it. I'm thinking. What is he doing? <laughs> you know what? Actually, this is not made up or anything. He, he was doing an interview. Seems like a perfectly nice guy. And he kept... We actually have a skill of the interview. He kept working away. <laughs> well, something was wrong with him. Now, there was... Speaking of him, 
I did. I, I guess there was. I remember this. It was like I think it was a year or so ago, or two years ago. I can't remember how long ago it was. When he was on uh, Buffy, and you guys had this sex scene, uh. and everybody raised this big fuss because they said it was an unprotected sex scene between Buffy and Angel, and it seemed kind of. Did that seem kind of silly to you, or? He's a two hundred and forty year old vampire. The guy shoots blanks. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that's all I have to say about yeah. that. We're not a public service announcement. We're a television show. Okay. <laughs> Vampire. Yeah, Thank about you. vampires. Th I think they missed the whole point. That whole thing where the next morning he went evil and tried to kill all my friends because, right. you know, they missed that whole point. Oh, they don't care it. about that as long as that sex was protected. Yeah, don't them. As long as he was a responsible vampire. Uh, <laughs> you, you had, I understand, and I'm hurt that I wasn't invited, but that's okay, that you had a party last night in your hotel room. I did. I had a little pajama, say goodbye to your favorite high school, watch the Nick game, and don't insult James Vanderbeek by having Dawson on in the third room. Party. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, no, it was, we had a party to, like, watch the season finale of 90210 and then the Nick game in the other room. But then I felt badly because we had every show on but James' show. And he saw him kind of wandering around the room. I'm like, no, no, it's on in that room. Ran in real fast, <laughs> turned it on. If you want to go watch yourself, go in there, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he didn't go. Yeah. He didn't go watch the Nick game. So how was the 90210 finale? I did, I did not see it myself. That was an exciting Nick game. <laughs> <laughs> wow. No, it was Not You're in trouble now. No, I know it is. No, when that cast comes boss. after you, I mean, no, we'll get you. Uh, <laughs> no, in, in, in defense, I don't really watch the show. I haven't watched it for years, so I was kind of lost <laughs> watching years. it. It's been on 10 years. I, I mean, know, and they're still in high school. No, they actually, on, they went to college. You know, I think I was, in, I was in eighth grade when the show started. I mean, so I watched it then. I was... It was. I actually saw a little bit of it, and we've commented on this. I mean, a lot of people have talked about this, but they really are. They, people make jokes about it, but I was watching, and they really are. Some of them are, like, they're, they're in their early 50s, some of them. <laughs> Matt. <laughs> Matt. And they're still like, yay! And, and I had to watch my Nick game, so I was running back and forth with my, with, you know, just so I could check on both. But it was fun. It was a good time. It was All fun, right. except for the hotel. I, I asked to get some plates. Are we putting you up at this hotel? Is late night putting you up there? Because no, no, we're no. pretty cheap. Okay, we usually no, no, have no, 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 no. People this, at the no, Ramada. No, this is a really, really nice she hotel. Had, wait, she had three TVs. <laughs> we're not putting her up. Yeah, yeah. Wait, no, no. So, <laughs> good point. I'm ha so I'm ha wait, listen. No, you tell me if you think this is fair. So I'm having all these people over, and so right. we're gonna. This is New York City. I'm ordering in some pizzas, right? Right. So I call downstairs to the big button that says room service on the menu. I said, hey, you know, we're having some people over. Can I have some plates and some forks? Okay, this is what I asked for: some forks and some knives, right? Fifteen dollars without the tip. Wait a minute, I don't, I don't understand. That fifteen dollars to just rent right. plates? So, okay, wait, but listen to this. What's the name of this hotel? Let's trash them on the air. <laughs> and then everyone can come visit me at the hotel that I'll stay at. Wait, and then well, just whisper the hotel in my ear. No. I promise. No, I won't. Just whisper wait, it. Don't then, worry. And then when I call downstairs just to complain, when I call downstairs to complain, <laughs> when I call downstairs to complain, they said, well, you know, we charge fifty cents for every piece. I'm like, you brought me five plates and five napkins. I mean, five forks. How do you charge 50 cents and then charge me $15? It's not nice. It's New York. That's the problem just with New York in general, in Manhattan. Yeah. It's the only place in the world where if you get like a pat of butter, like with your meal, it actually shows up on the check. <laughs> you know? Needless to say, I made my friends use their hands. That's the end <laughs> That's of the story. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, That's good. You should have just used uh, bed linen. I would have taught them. Well, that's not responsible, yeah. Andy. No forks. Use the remote. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Stab. <laughs> Come on, just, uh, well, you'll say the name of the, I'll find out the name of the hotel and we'll reveal it on air and I'll be sued. Uh, <laughs> the Buffy season finale, which will be a lot better than that 90210 finale. Trust me. Airs next, right, Tues now. next Tuesday at 8 on the WB. Uh, thanks so much for being here. Sarah Michelle Geller, everybody. Michael Rappaport coming up.